Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I'm just going to be doing a reading. Um, I got one, two, three, okay, five decks. And we're going to take one card or two cards from each deck and we'll just see what we get there. And, you know, see what kind of messages we have for you. Just remember, it's a general reading. So if it doesn't make sense for you, just leave that for somebody else. Just take whatever resonates for you, okay? And my readings are timeless. So if this reading catches your attention, it's probably a reason for it. So, you know... Uh, there's probably some messages in there for you if you want to watch those, the older ones, it doesn't matter what, you know, dates they were recorded on, and, um, if you hear noise of, of kids screaming, it's my kids outside playing, and my window open so I can keep an eye on them. You got to get more information within the next few weeks. So maybe you're worried about something or trying to do something. Um, maybe you're looking for a job, moving, trying to do something or trying to, I don't know. But um, I think you need, it says get more information. So, you know, don't jump yet. Make sure you know all the facts before you go ahead and make any, you know, type of moves. Um, whatever you're deciding on doing, make sure you have all the information that you need in order to get you to where you need to be. Steps just fell out. Take your time. No need to rush. So it's probably telling you to take your time. There's no need to rush because you still need more information um, to get you to where you need to be or to at least, you know, get put on. Tonight, keep on having to overcome hurdles, let me say, okay? And then within the next few weeks, so maybe you're waiting for something. Could be a business opportunity. Maybe you're moving. Maybe, um something is happening within the next few weeks maybe like a vacation or maybe you're hoping for something wishing for something and if it's that case then it's like that's within a, the next few weeks so in springtime then you got sphinx cunning clever and manipulation so maybe you're dealing with somebody who is like a manipulator somebody who likes to um take advantage and try to tell you one thing when they do another and try to make you believe something else or make you believe something that it's not okay it's like, um, maybe you're trying, maybe you're smarter than them. Maybe you know things. Well, when I said you know things, you got the hair fit. It's like you know things, but you're not saying it. The hair fit, and, um, <clears throat> she knows a lot of secrets, but she doesn't say a word, okay? So it's like, I think you know something that's going on, but it's like you need more information, get more information before you go ahead and say things. So maybe you might feel like something's up, but maybe you don't have like the actual details or information in order to prove it. So it's like before you go ahead and jump, it's like get more information or find it all out first. The Ace of Cups is a new love coming in for you. So if this is like whatever you're going through, this new information or this information that you're feeling like, I think it's like secrets or something you feel is being held from you. And it's like once you find out this or whatever you get more information for, whether it's a new job or a new love, it's like get more information, learn more about this person, learn more about this job um, before you go ahead and make stuff, you know, stuff final because then it's kind of too late, right? Then you got blessed. So, you know, the angels are with you. Loyal heart. Okay, so you're somebody with a loyal heart and searching for somebody just like that for yourself. Um, somebody who can match you. And I'm not taking all that. Wow, when I looked, it's the high priestess again. I swear to God, where did it go? Anyway, it was there. High priestess two times. Very intuitive. You know something's going on, but you're not opening your mouth about it. You're keeping hush-hush. Like, you, I guess you're, um, maybe you figure, like, there's no reason to open your mouth about it because, like, it's done. And throughout all of this, I feel like you've had a loyal heart the whole time. Maybe this person hasn't, okay? The Ace of Swords, clarity, okay? Um, seeing through people, secrets coming out, um... You know, living in your truth, standing in your truth, you know, um, doing things that you know that you need to do. Uh, this is also about like a secret coming out. Like I said, with this whole entire thing, knowing something but keeping your mouth quiet. It's like, what's the point of opening my mouth when I already know what's going on? But, you know, within the next few weeks, maybe this situation is going to be done. The hermit. This is like, <clears throat> you need you needing to take a deep look within yourself. Or maybe you already are doing this. 
and it's like learning more and it's like going through a lot of stuff but then you learn through it and you become more smarter and you know you, you're able to help more other people that go through this type of same stuff that you're going through because you've been there done that right so I see that you shine light for other people it's like you like to help others but then you also hide away from everybody else too maybe because you don't want them to understand that you are hurting or that you're going through some stuff you know what I mean so you kind of try to Keep your stuff away from others in order to, so that way they don't see you, like, sad, okay? But, yeah, I feel like, um, whatever this is, is like, um, a secret is definitely being kept within, from you, from, it doesn't mean it has to be a love relationship, it could be from a friend, a family, a relationship, a job, it could be people at work or anything like that, but I feel like you need to have more information in this in order to take these next steps. It's like... Don't jump the gun, okay? And don't go too fast because you have to make sure you're taking the steps to take you to where you need to be next, okay? So you don't want to jump and then, you know, not have stuff, you know, no foundation in order to keep yourself straight. You don't want to crumble. You don't want to fall. So you want to make sure you're building all this stuff, you know, for you. Let me see. I was thinking about pulling more cards, like guidance. Like what should they, what should, um, advice for Aries do? The Page of Pentacles, learn something new, start something new, you know, um, you have these new ideas inside of you, um, and it's also an intuition card, it's like, listen to your intuition, justice card, you're not being treated fairly, you're not getting what you deserve, and you're choosing to stay, and it's like, I don't think you're choosing to stay anymore, I kind of feel like you made up your mind, especially with the Ace of Swords and the Justice card right there, and the Hermit, it's like, you've been hurt too much, and the Ace of Cups, it's like, you got two Aces, Definitely, um, new starts coming for you. The Six of Wands is like, practice on your, um, then you got the Devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, or you could just be dealing with some type of situation that you've been stuck to for too long, okay? And it's like, the time is over. Justice needs to be served in this situation because it's unfair, and it's keeping you from doing what you need to do, um, and being on your path that you need to be on, okay? And when you do that, it's going to be like success. Six of Wands, you're going to be, um happy you're going to be able to get to where you need to be you're not going to be held back okay and and justice card you may be going to like court or something okay so if you have like a court situation maybe this person hurt you mentally physically whatever type of way that they hurt you or whatever that they did to you treated you unfairly whether it's money and they held money over your head it's like you're going to get whatever that you deserved okay and and they're going to see right through Whoever this person that you're going to court with or whatever like that, they're going to see right through this person. It's like you're going to get what you truly deserve, okay? It's like you got a whole new story. You got all these aces, the ace of cups, the ace of swords, the ace of wands, and the knight of pentacles. Yes, I feel like it's been a long um, time coming. Yes. Can I get um, crackers like the little ones that have um, one circle in the middle and they're low, tiny, medium squares? Um, you gotta wait a minute. I have no clue what that is. But just wait a minute. You're so cute. Thank you. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this took you a very long time. Um, but now you're kind of like charging towards your passions. Like you want something new. You want a new start, a new life, a new love. Like it's like you're ready for like a new love. Maybe you might not be ready, but it's like it's coming for you. You got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. That's new loves, new passions, new starts. Only thing you don't have is the Ace of Pentacles, so maybe you're not, maybe you feel like you're, if you have a business, maybe you feel like that's, um, maybe you feel like the money part is missing out, or the material-wise is missing out, like maybe you don't have like a whole bunch of stuff to yourself, okay, because that's the only card that's missing here, yeah, and it's like, you, I, I forgot these are not squares, I need, yeah. I need them outside in a little bowl, oh, wow, fancy, Okay, like, oh my god, that's scary. I thought like, that was your hand <laughs> on the table. Wow. Okay, so the ace of pentacles is the only thing that you don't, the only ace that you don't have here. So maybe I feel like maybe you're having some type of financial problem. Sorry about my kids. I keep them walking in here. I have five kids and I have 12 animals, so I'm bound to be, you know, interrupted every now and then or every two minutes. <laughs> but um, I feel like once you, you, um, Within the next few weeks, I feel like things are going to start clearing up for you, okay? And, like, you're going to be able to move on from this. And nothing's going to be holding you back anymore. And you're going to get the justice that you deserve, okay? It's like you've had this 
person dangling this carrot in front of your face and never letting you get it forever, you know what I mean? It's like finally your justice is going to come through. Good karma is coming to you and they're going to get their karma for doing what they, they did, for whatever they did to you. And if they didn't do something to you, it's like karma, you know, karma gets you one way or another. So if you're dealing with the court thing, like I said, if not, then it just means like, you know, I think you're ready to move on from them, okay? So I hope this helps, guys. And um, yeah. Take care. Toodles.